It is an absolutely gorgeous Sunday afternoon here in Surfside, North Miami, Florida. I'm having a great time on this Sunday drive in my Super V8 Jaguar. And I gotta say, I have to highly recommend Miami. All right, today we are gonna talk about the power of speech and how it impacts your business relationships. Now, the power of speech is not only in your own power, it is also other people's power of speech the people whom you interact with. And we're gonna talk about how that impacts you. <laughs> this video has two parts to it. The first is gonna be the power of speech that's within your own, your own control, what you say. And later we'll talk about how you can manage what other people say. Now, first thing is when you're talking about the power of speech, your power of speech, be aware of who you surround yourself with. You should be surrounded by positive people who impact you in a positive way. If the people who are around you bring you down or they talk too much about other people, blabbermouths, they are gonna reflect poorly on you. The circle of your friends reflects on you. When I wanna know about a person and I find out all of their friends are negative people, chances are that person's gonna be negative too. Now, it doesn't mean that that's always the case, of course, but in your situation, surround yourself by positive people. Don't be around negative people. Separate yourself from negative people. Why? Why is that important? Let's say you find out someone has a trait or a quality that's much better than anything you can achieve or have achieved. Heck, maybe they're better at everything than you. Literally everything they touch, they're better at it than you. What are you gonna do about it? A person who's a positive person is gonna wanna get themselves closer to that person, befriend that person, associate themselves with that person, do business with that person. A negative person is going to want to sabotage them because they're so jealous it eats them up. They can't be happy for somebody else's success. They have to try to sabotage the other person rather than try to learn from them and build off of that person. Okay, smart people, they, they get closer to the people who are better than them. Okay, I've got people in my network who are celebrities, who are who are people who are business people who have sold billion dollar companies, companies for billion dollar valuations. Okay, these are the people I choose to get closer to. Many of them have achieved things I wish I had. Believe me, jealousy is, not, is a universal trait, but I'm not jealous in the way that I, I, I don't want them to have it. I am so grateful to God that I have these kind of friends and that they are my friends and that's who I'm surrounding myself with. I'm happy for them. At the same time, I wanna learn from them and learn their, how to emulate their successes. Okay, that's what intelligent people do. Negative people go, ah, he's, he's this, he's that, and make up this, uh, this critical garbage to cover up the fact that they're so jealous it eats them alive and they don't believe that they are capable of ever achieving that even if they were to get close to that person. Stay away from those negative people. They will eat you alive. No, you cannot change people. They will be like that forever. Those are losers. You don't want losers in your network. Those who can't do often criticize those who do. <laughs> now, there are so many unhappy, miserable, jealous people in this world, no shortage of them, that you will be guaranteed that if you are a person who really does a lot in this world, there are going to be people who are going to be critical of you and bring you down simply because they are so unhappy with where they're at in the world that they can't stand somebody else being better than them. That's simple as that. Now, there's nothing you can do about that except distance yourself from those people. However, you need to understand why that is important to distance yourself from those people. See, the thing is, they're out to get what you have, okay? They may criticize every last thing you do, but meantime, it's you that's making it rain and they're trying to eat from your fruits, okay? You are doing all this good stuff and they're trying to bring you down. You have to distance yourself from those people. They are negative and they will not change. In such an instance, it is perfectly okay to burn your bridge to the ground. I frequently talked about in other videos, don't burn your bridges, meaning keep your connections clean, don't screw anybody over, don't make, don't make enemies. 
However, in this particular instance, scorched earth. You know what that means? It means burn it to the ground. Burn that baby, burn. Okay, burn it to the ground. You can kill those relationships off because they will never yield fruit. We can call these people, these, these wimps and these losers, we can call them bullies. But what they really are, are people who are dying of jealousy. They are people who have the only motivation is to take what you have and they know they can't do that, so they try to kill what you have. Let's talk about why they do this. These are pathetic people. Call them bullies, call them whatever you want, but the point is they're trying to take control over your emotions. They're trying to take something from you. And you know what? Every interaction you have, no matter how strong you are, they're gonna take something from you. If it's not your time, then it's your emotional health and well-being. And there's nothing you could do to stop it except separate yourself from those people. It is absolutely critical that you stay away from people who do this, okay? You need to separate it. Now, they what, what do they actually want from you? They want to bring you down, make you inferior to them because in their heart they know they can't be what you are. So they want you to be the untermenschen, the, 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 neg the person who's beneath them. And that is a terrible, terrible person who does that. You have to make sure you surround yourself by good people. Don't be around negative people. Most of the time when you identify someone is this type of bully, it's because you are the victim. That is common. Now, what do you do in such a situation? Well, first you have to understand what are you being victimized of? Every single interaction with that person that's negative is going to steal something from you. Your brain cycles are going to be focused on the frustrations that this person is generating in your direction instead of productive things. They are stealing from you something. They are taking from you things that you cannot get back. Every interaction with you is th with, that they have with you is a theft. You need to stop that as quick as possible, however you do that. Now, what could you do in the meantime prior to being able to stop it? Because sometimes there's situations you got to grin and bear, unfortunately. Well, in Psalms, there's a thing that says, Mikolam de Iskati, from every teacher I have learned. See what you can learn from that situation and maybe learn how not to get into that, you know, in the future and how you can figure out how to get out of it. Because if you make a learning lesson, at least there is some benefit to be derived from that negative situation, that toxicity. Because every time you interact with that toxic person, they're taking something from you that you can never get back. What is that? It's the innocence of being able to be productive and to be able to go about your business and not have someone want to take from you something simply because you got it and they don't. That is nasty people. Stay the heck away from those people. Okay, their words will eat you alive and they will steal from you your brain cycles. No, it's not a physical thing. It's a metaphorical thing that they're stealing from you. But they are taking something from you that you cannot get back. Bottom line is, if they're gonna take something from you, your brain cycles, your emotional balance, okay, your, your sense of well-being and your, your safety mechanism to feel like you can be productive without being, having to look over your shoulder, if they're gonna take that from you, make sure you take something back from them. Learn from the experience so you have something you can take from them, that education, that experience. You wanna learn from that. Okay, so at least you get something back in return for your contribution of your brain power, mental state. Milk it for what you can because it's the only thing you can get back. Because so long as you are interacting with them, they will take something from you with every interaction. You need to, to separate yourself from that and avoid that. And on those fine words, we're gonna end this video. Thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Come on out to North Miami, Florida. It is absolutely gorgeous here in Surfside. I'm not sure I'm still in Surfside. I may be in the next town by now. I've been driving a while. But uh, come on out here. If you got a supercharged classic Jaguar, it makes the day much better. Come on. All right, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Yeah! <laughs>